patients and clinicians have welcomed the publication of Scotland's first clinical guidelines for delirium. The guidelines will help professionals working across health and social care to recognise, treat and provide support for people with the condition. In my opinion, delirium is a major unmet need in healthcare with a huge variation in practice. It often starts suddenly and has a number of causes. More importantly, it's frightening to the patient and families. I would urge the healthcare professionals to read the guideline. The recommendations and the good practice points would go a long way in improving the care and support for this condition. Caregivers looking after individuals who have delirium often highlight that a lack of knowledge and understanding amongst healthcare professionals regarding the condition is a key barrier to receiving a diagnosis and meaningful support. The guideline was developed by a group of multidisciplinary healthcare professionals alongside patients, carers and their relatives. It should help healthcare professionals to recognise delirium, but it should also help patients and their relatives to understand the condition so that they can make informed choices about their healthcare. If the guidelines followed, it should help reduce variation in practice, so it means that every patient should receive the best possible care wherever they are. We have also developed a range of tools and resources to aid improvements in the diagnosis, management and support provided for people with delirium. Mark Hudson experienced delirium while in hospital. Understanding delirium can help provide the right support for both the family and the patient. It is often associated as an older person condition but can affect people of any age. It can stop you being able to tell what is real and what is not. With the guidelines and Delirium Awareness Day should help improve the understanding of the condition. To download the guidelines and associated resources, please visit sign.ac.uk.